Okay, welcome to the 11th hammer tutorial by Source SDK 101. And today we are going to be learning about the no draw texture. Now, the no draw texture is basically what it says. It doesn't draw whatever you put it on. So, what you can go, if you, whatever you want to no draw, you're going to hit browse, search for no draw in the filter, and you're going to want to select the first one tools slash tools no draw. Now, what you do is you take your texture application tool and you're going to right click on whatever you want to be not drawn in the game in the level now it will look like this bright yellow that's kind of distracting but in game if you want to see what it will look like more like in game you go up to the no draw at the top and you deselect it and now you see that it's not drawn anymore and when you want it to go back you just click no draw again so what you're going to want to do is this extremely helps your systems. Like it will make the map run a lot better if you have known draw no drawed the map correctly. So you're going to want to select anything that is not visible. You're going to want to create it, make it a no draw texture. Anything not visible. So stuff like this would not be visible. Only you're only the way this is set up, you would only be able to see this. You wouldn't be able to see anything back here. So if you were to fly around the map when it's in game, you would only see this. You would only, it does not affect where the playable area is. So basically, no draw is just for that reason. You can make things not drawn. And it's very good for optimization. And now, from what I want you to do from now on, is I want you to create all your brushes with the no draw texture. So if I wanted to make a short wall here, I'm going to make it start with the no draw texture and then I'm going to want to search for the texture I want here I'm just going to grab a random brick texture and then you're going to only put it on the faces that would be seen so if I want it like this these were the these would be the only faces that would be seen so you don't have to go around the entire object um, putting no draw everywhere you would only have it here so you still you can't see it when you're playing the rebel and this is a much efficient, more efficient way of optimizing your map and more efficient way of making no draw textures. So it helps your map a lot and it's what all the pros do. If you want, you want your map to be, you know, any good where it's not lagging because maps can get extremely large. And if you want a good map, it's probably going to be pretty big. So this will help you a lot in the long run. So always make your brushes with no draw. Remember that. Thank you for watching. The next tutorial will be on water. Um, again, thanks for watching um, and subscribe. Thank you.